Good morning, beautiful people. Good to have you this morning, this Thursday morning, TGIT. Thank God it is Thursday. We, uh, we've we got uh, some members that have got some family uh, trials and tribulations. Uh, God knows the need and uh, was asked to bring it to y'all and, and just ask you to pray. In addition to that, Miss Cheryl, um, she, she, her husband, I think I heard, is going into surgery, so... Y'all pray for them. We're going to come up with a mechanism. This is very important to our ministry, and we haven't been very very well organized, but that's something I'm going to work on in the next few days so that I can keep up with partners and faithfully fit members uh, and, and the needs of our community as it relates to, to ministering to them. When there's, a, uh, when there's a death, when there's a loved one that's going through something, it, it affects everybody in that family. And we just believe that this is a praying group of people. So we are attempting to get organized so that I can better. Sometimes I miss it is what I'm saying. Sometimes I just miss the mark. There's a lot of tags and stuff that I don't, I'm not able to keep up with all of them, but it's not from a standpoint of not, not caring. We're going to start sending out that Friday as soon as I can get to it, well, once I start a thing, I'm good at keeping it going. It's just getting it started. Um, we'll be updating partners and faithfully fit members. And part of that, that message on Fridays is going to be requesting the family let us know where the prayer needs are so that we can all be mindful of, of that. I just really believe that's what God is wanting out of this program uh, is to be different and to be a community uh, not just talking about nutrition, but it's here to support each other. Because, you know, when you're going through stuff, even like what Cheryl's going through with, with her husband, I got to get some more details. Um, that affects your eating. It, 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 it's a real part of, of a, a good solid weight loss program, wellness program, is uh, just understanding it's during that time that someone's really vulnerable to backsliding or relapsing. And that may sound silly, to someone that's never had an eating addiction. But we don't think it's silly when it's alcohol. We don't think it's silly when it's drugs. It's very similar with food. And if anything, I think it's worse. I think it's, it's, I don't want to compare, but I think it can be worse because food is so readily accessible. And even the people that love somebody that's sick because of food, they keep pushing them to eat. So it, it's a tough one. And I think, I am bent after 20 years of seeing so many people have success and then relapse. And now they're doing weight loss surgeries and drugs and everything else to fix it. And it's not working. The obesity epidemic is elevating like never before. And I think what we need here at Shibboleth, at least I'm holding on to it, is we need a movement of come back to the father unashamedly come back to the father not bible thumping and condemning people we're not condemned because we're in christ jesus but because of grace we just want to do better every day so um i just love where where we're going and i just wanted our partners and faithfully fit members to know if you heard me ask prayer for cheryl and somewhere you had tagged me and i should have been asking prayer for you too and i missed it we're working on mechanisms to to make sure everybody feels attended to and cared for that are reasonable, <laughs> right? Anyway, good to have everybody this morning. Got Renee with us, Jennifer. You can't quit food like you can other addictive substances because you you need it every day. And it's just choosing the, the right ones that's going to control our blood sugar and whatnot. It's good to have everybody. I'm going to get this party started. Uh, see Vicky. So when Vicky shows up, it's time to go to work. <laughs> All right, it's Thursday, and we're in the fourth lesson of Fast Track. If you're new around here and you're just starting, uh, the the way that we teach this program, bear with me, is really by osmosis. Certainly, the book will help. Certainly, uh, the Fast Track videos will help. 
but nothing helps like you and I and the other members here forming a bond. You don't care what people know until you know how much they care and you're cared for. So learning by osmosis and as time goes, it's kind of like being a child. I'm not saying anybody here is a child. If you call me a child, it don't bother me. I go, hey, man, I am. Because it's only the children that inherit the kingdom. So it's like raising children up. No one taught us how to eat, right? Did they teach you? Nobody taught me. And it wasn't all my fault that I wound up at over 300 pounds and on all those prescription medications. I didn't know to do any better. That's why Jesus on the cross says, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. I didn't know. And then by the time I did know better, I had strongholds in my life. And we're reverse engineering that together. So you have to look at it not like you're 53 years old or 75 years old or 93, like one of our clients is. You, you, don't, you don't look at it that way. As it relates to your eating, you're starting over. Nobody's taught you. You've had a new birth in the nutrition, if you will. And, and now you're learning a new lifestyle. So you you were born, again, those of you that don't get with this, I'm not trying to offend you. I know there's different personalities, egos. I'm just making a parable out of it. You, you're, you're born into, so to speak, the Shibola family. Yes, people will say that's, they'll say all kinds of bad things. We don't care about that. We all know who we serve. But let's say that you're born and you're Vicky Shibola as it relates to eating. So it's like a family name, right? As it relates to eating. It's a family within a family. And I'm teaching her as a newborn into it, just like my jujitsu professor teaches me. I'm teaching her what she needs to know to let this be her ethos and her lifestyle. It's like, gather around the fire, children. <laughs> Let me tell you what we stand for. And, and we teach a program. And you won't get it at first. It takes a little osmosis. It's so powerful. Even if you're doing half of it in the beginning, you'll get results. Those results will slow if you don't learn more. So as we go along, you're learning. And the next thing you know, you're reciting this stuff off. like it, You know it like the back of your hand. You're seeing the category numbers float over the plate, and, and it's, you got it, right? And then it's time to decide if you want to keep it for yourself or help other people. So that that's what it's about, osmosis. So what we do is have you go through the fast track videos, okay? You want to go to your dashboard. This is the best place to get to this dashboard. We go to our dashboard, and we go to fast track. And in Fast Track, we go to Fast Track videos. So you've got resources here. If you need a meal plan to get you started, Lisa's got those. It won't be personalized, but there'll be enough on there that, that you can find stuff to eat while you're learning the program. We're not going to give you a fish to eat for a day. We're trying to teach you how to fish so you can eat for a lifetime. You know how to do it. That's why we do so many different classes. We do deep dive nutrition. We do challenges. Saturday, we do the We Fixed It class and fix recipes. We leave nothing out as far as I'm concerned that you need for your journey. So you got um, your combination chart. You got a meal plan worksheet. You got a one-week journal page if you prefer paper. Uh, you got your phase one digital book. So you've got these videos. And we want you to go through these videos Take the test, pass the test, and earn the fast track badge. Now you've installed the proper foundation of nutrition into your life, and you can just keep revisiting it and get stronger and stronger and stronger with the information. It's a very simple plan. I know that when you look at a combination chart, it looks like math, and, and people don't like math, but it's not math. It's, it's just how we combine foods to control insulin. So we've been talking about that. Now, yesterday, uh, we got we all got in a little bit of a meeting. So I'm going to combine two lessons today to make up for yesterday and, and then get you through today as we approach tomorrow. So, uh, again, if you're brand new, 
do it again next week. But this time do it with the mindset of I'm going to eat right while I'm going through fast track. I know if you started this week, you don't know enough yet. So get the meal plan, follow the meal plan, do it right. You can do anything for one week and let's go through fast track again. So today we need to catch up. Uh, we talked about the Shibola Shield water journal combinations for insulin control portions and timing and bless the name of the Lord. That's a perfect day. Two of those that we do correctly and on the honor system puts us in EFB. Some people will get in EFB faster. So why do I say two days? Because I look at worst case scenario depending on that person. So worst case scenario, if you follow perfect day mentality, you're going to get in efficient fat burning mode in two days. So if you started on a Monday by Wednesday, you're efficiently burning fat. People will often say, why did I lose less weight on uh, after Wednesday than I did after Monday? I thought that I was getting an EFB. You were. Your first two days, you were just getting rid of the water and the glycogen. You might have lost a smidge of fat, but you were getting rid of water and glycogen. You actually should say, thank you, Lord, I'm out of that phase. Now I can start dipping into my fat reserves. But the weight will come off slower. When somebody loses seven pounds on a Monday, they go seven times 365, I'm going to lose almost 3,000 pounds this year. That's not right. I love you. But that kind of thinking is what kept me in trouble. It's what's going to keep you in trouble. With fat, you can lose about a half a percent up to a percent of body fat a week. That's a lot of, I mean, of your weight each week. So if you're 300 pounds, about three pounds is a good goal after you lose that initial burst of water and sugar. This is five pounds. So if you lose five pounds every two weeks, you're going to notice it. The scales won't notice it like you want the scales to notice it. The scales are liars. They lie to you in the morning. They lie to you in the middle of the day. They lie to you at night. That You, you should put a big old devil sticker on them so that you know when you get on them, you're actually stomping the devil, Cindy, because that's all they are. They're a good tool, but you got to know what they are. And, and they're measuring everything. And our water, and the larger the sponge, the more the fluctuation. So our water weight is constantly changing, depending on what we eat, depending on the celestial, uh, the, the phases of the moon. Your water, your, your time of the month, inflammation, you're going to do that. You're going to have this little juggle. You don't even need to worry about it. Because if you're doing this as a lifestyle, uh, Thanks for reminding me, sis. I'm sorry. Here it goes. I think I got it. Sorry about that. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa's got to get the stream on the website. Where was it? So you're going to have those moments of, of fluctuation and doubt. If you're starting this as a lifestyle, you trust the cloud of witness. There's plenty of people here. There's millions of pounds been lost. Your body, does, you're not any different than anybody else here. Your metabolism, your biology works the very same. My thyroid's overactive or underactive, doesn't matter. Your biology still works the same. Calorie deficit, insulin control, the fat's got to go. That rhymed. That was good. So calorie deficit, insulin control, the fat's got to go. That was a good one. Write that saying down for me, Lisa. I might pound on that one a while. That's a good one. So you just got to trust that. The scales are only going to tell you the truth once a month. Whatever you way June 1st, July 1st, that's pretty accurate. You know, if you lost one pound the whole month, I promise you, you weren't doing it right. If you lost seven pounds and you're pretty close to go, you probably were doing it right. If you lost 20 pounds, you probably are just getting started. That's the journey. Whatever we did to ourselves, we've got to reverse engineer it. It, it seems like it takes forever to lose the weight, but that's because you haven't convinced yourself yet 
that this is fun and easy. Once you realize it's fun and easy, you won't be, you won't, time won't slow down. It'll seem like you just arrive at your goal overnight. I love the way we eat here. There's nothing I can't have. I feel great after every perfect meal. I don't ever have to eat something off plan. Even if I'm craving ice cream, even if I'm craving a, a chocolate bar, I never have to eat off plan. Never. I could have perfect days the rest of my life and I don't think I'd miss anything. But I like living. I like, I've got liberty. I never feel good after a holiday, but holidays are part of the program. If I want to go to Longhorns and have a big old steak that's hanging off the plate like the whole cow, and I want I want to have a big potato with butter and sour cream, salt and pepper, and then I want to have a dessert afterwards, I can do that. But the next day, I've got to have a perfect day. Not a so-so day, not an okay day, perfect day. So the shield is what makes that happen. Then categories. We have to talk about how to categorize food. And it's endless. The, the number of foods that go in the categories are endless. You're, you're never, ever going to run out of variety. Never. It's just not going to happen. Uh, going back to the dashboard. We start with a basic list. Have to start somewhere. So I'm in Fast Track and I'm going to our food library. And here we've got seven categories of whole food and then some processed food categories to get you started. Make sure as you go through and see things you like that you mark it because it, it'll matter later. When, if you decide to come, become a partner, a Faithfully Fit member, uh, you'll have an assistant built in where it'll help you come up with meal ideas based upon your likes. But we're categorizing food. Category one, lean protein. They help control blood sugar. We call them exercise in a category. And they help you preserve muscle and metabolism. And in fact, we'll build your fire if you choose the right ones. They're all interchangeable. You don't like grouper, then maybe you like chicken breast. You don't like um, venison, then maybe you like 96% lean ground beef. So we get, we get familiar with where to put these foods. Keep in mind, if your food isn't on this list, you have a big library. You can go look in the big library. We're just trying to stay within a construct for fast track. When you get into journey, thousands of foods, okay? So then you got fibrous carb, helps control the fat bus. When the fat bus comes, your appetite goes up, fat storage takes place, and efficient fat burning stops for up to two days. These help put the brakes on the bus. They also provide the fiber the phytonutrients, the prebiotics, all the amazing things we need to keep our system operating right. And broccoli is exercise on a stalk. It also looks like a mop for a reason. All that undigested matter inside of us, it cleans it out. It's like when you begin the program, you might even experience a little constipation before regularity comes because if you're eating a lot of broccoli, it, does, it it's not soluble. It's not a lot of it is not water soluble. It's roughage and it's cleaning out that intestinal tract. You need roughage to help keep your body detoxified. So since you can't, uh, it's not solvent, it has to work itself through the digestive tract. So the more mess we got in there, sorry about saying it that way, the more crap that's in there, the, the more that broccoli's got to work its way through and it takes all that out with it. It's like a good bus. It's like an undigested matter bus pulling out stuff that you couldn't otherwise. x lax x -lax don't get it out, okay? But roughage will. And your, your liver can begin to cleanse itself and detoxify because your liver's sitting up over your intestines and, and it can't dump, it's just common sense manufacturing right if your liver is loaded up with toxicity it can't dump it if your intestines are also loaded up with undigested matter so you have to eat your roughage and it helps with processing meat too and we do eat a lot of meat on planet shibboleth not that you have to but it's helpful if you'll eat meat energy carbs um, these are category three when you get in maintenance we're not nearly as worried about these bad boys by the way, add this to add to the foods you, lo you love to your grocery list. Print your grocery list and don't be looking at for other things at the grocery store. You can create as many grocery lists as you need to. 
but you've got all of these uh these energy carbs, complex carbohydrate, and some are better for you than others. But I love this category. People are afraid of it. I love it. If I put a lean protein and a fibrous carb on my potato and I eat the right portion, I don't have to worry about insulin knocking me out of fat burning for two days, maybe six hours, but not two days. And that's what life is about. It's comprised of time here in this world. And, and you, have, you have time. You're going through the year, right? The more time during that year that you can stay in EFB, the better. The less insulin you need in that year, the better. If you eat these by themselves, you'll stay jacked up on growth hormone all the time. We don't want to do that. So uh, in other words, if I'm having a, a chicken breast, green beans, and some uh, Crowder peas, beautiful meal, as long as I control the portion. You got to follow the portion rule. Then you got protein plus fats. Heck yeah, I got to have some steak. I got to have my whole eggs. I got to have baby back, baby back ribs. I love them. You can't have ribs hanging off a plate like this and flopping around if we're having a perfect day. We get the right portion according to our portion rule. Have some green beans. You can go to Shane's Rib Shack and, and get you uh, some ribs, whatever will fit under your hand. Take the rest home. Eat it later. If it's good now, it'll be good later. And get you some green beans and avoid all that cornbread and stuff. There's just a ton that you can do and control insulin and get the things that you, that you love to eat. So you got your protein plus fats that work. You won't be having, for example, you can't have a three with a four. We don't, we don't want to have a three with a four unless I do it for you. And what I mean by that, I can take anything and make it work. Any ingredient, anything you have, I can make it work. I can surround it with protein and fiber at the right calorie level and I can fix it. But since I'm not there to do that with you all the time, I'm giving you a plan where you can do it yourself. You might not have as much variety, but you really don't need any more than we have because you get holidays. Then you got fruit. I love fruit. If I'm trying to lose weight, fruit is not my friend, but it's got antioxidants in it. It's all natural. Uh, we need to be consuming that. Not, not a, a approved protein bar for a snack. I disagree. When you're trying to lose weight, an apple a day will not keep the doctor away. But when you're in maintenance, it will. But I want fruit now. I do too. I had to have it. I love berries. I love apples. But I have to have it in the context of the program for a perfect day. So I would have a Shibboleth approved sandwich on category two bread or tortilla. And then for dessert, have an apple or have some grapes. You'll learn that that's a lean protein plus a fibrous carb plus um, lost my train of thought. Fruit. I don't. I don't know. My my brain went. Blah, 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 blah. But you're having a one, two, five, and you're controlling the insulin impact from that fruit. And you've got to do that. You're in a season. You cannot lose fat and put on muscle at the same time. One requires calorie deficit. The other requires a surplus. So we're going through a season where we're preserving muscle and cutting the fat. Then we can go through a season where we eat more of these beautiful fruits alone. When you're in maintenance, one of the maintenance strategies is for you to eat fruit as a snack instead of, say, a health smart peanut butter patty. It won't hurt you that much. You're not getting much insulin, but it does bump it up. And then if you eat other things that bump insulin up, we can get to the point there's so much growth hormone in our system, we can't lose body fat. Then you got superfoods, things like avocado, black beans, pintos, peanut butter, all nuts and seeds. Beautiful list. There's a certain way to eat them. And it's ways that you might eat them now. You just need to push something else aside that you normally have with your pintos. Having pintos and pepper sauce, uh, good. Collard greens, good. Having pintos with cornbread, not good but I love my cornbread. Hey, no problem, we fixed it. There's multiple cornbread recipes that you can have with those pintos that blunt insulin. Then you've got shellfish, anything that's shellfish, anything. These are as good as category one lean protein. They're just as good. Some people won't eat them because of religious reasons. Others won't eat them because of allergies. That's the only reason they're in this category. They're my favorite. Then you have condiments. We got to spruce our plate up. 
So as we're looking at this and taking the basics one day at a time and filtering it through the shield, drinking our water, journaling it, biting, writing it, food combinations to control insulin, up to three eating episodes a day for optimization on a portion plate or under the two hand rule or staying under 400 calories per episode, whichever personality you have there, timing, have a 12 to 16 hour fast. There needs to be at least 12 hours a day that you don't eat anything. Drink some water, have a spark, but do not eat macronutrients. You need time in autophagy. And 12 hours doesn't cut it. You need to start working toward pushing towards 16. But we'll start with 12, at least a minimum of 12 hour fast. Then after that, we just bless the name of the Lord. We, we learn as we will tomorrow, how to take the food combination chart and put a one and two together. The combination chart says I can have a one and two. It's in the red column. I'll blow torch fat off the body like taking a blow torch to butter. So I look over here. Well, I've got some frozen flounder. I do. I've got some in the freezer. So I pull that out. I cook it in MCT oil because MCT oil doesn't change the category number. Well, I don't have any MCT oil. All I have is olive oil. So I cook the flounder in olive oil. What category does the flounder become now? Four. It becomes a four. But I, I did it right or I grilled it or whatever. So I've got my flounder. Then I look over here, what veggie do I have? Ah, I've got some rice cauliflower. So I'm gonna do the rice cauliflower and I'm gonna put my flounder over a bed of rice cauliflower and I'm even gonna take some green peas and I'm not gonna use them as a category three. I'm gonna use them as a condiment to make it look like rice. And then I'm gonna get my condiment that's my homemade yum yum sauce and put that over my flounder and rice. That is a blowtorch meal. Well, Travis, I'm craving some bologna. Come over here to approve bologna. Fry it in some MCT oil and put it on your category two bread. Your old bologna sandwich was causing bologna. It was causing butt bologna. Yeah, yeah, you get in a mushy butt. Well, we take the approved bologna, fry it in the MCT oil, put it on our approved bread, that's a negative two or negative three weight loss meter, we got a great fried bologna sandwich. So there's just endless things that you can do. We, this is why I preach and preach and preach, y'all. Tell me if I'm wrong, challenge me. Everything that you traditionally ate, spaghetti, sandwiches, hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, biscuits, all of it, we have something on planet Shibboleth that will allow you to eat it and lose weight and feel better. Why would you eat something that tastes like our stuff but causes fat gain and for you to be miserable? We need a lifestyle. We put on the blinders and we focus on what we can have and we're satisfied with what we can have. I don't care what your traditions are at home. That's why we do the We Fixed It class. I don't care if it's dressing and giblet gravy. We got a recipe. And in fact, our assistant inside the website that we built, you're going to be able very soon to put in your ingredients and say, this is all I got. Um, I want fast weight loss with these ingredients and I need to make my dressing. How would I do it? And it'll go boop, 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 and it'll be perfect. So just get the right attitude. What you're fighting against is strongholds. The same kind of strongholds, I, we're, all, we're all up against it. The same kind of strongholds that Lot experienced. If, if Would you save it? God, would you save that place from obesity? If there were 50 that were doing it the right way, I would. Would you save it if there were 30 people doing it the right way? God said, I would. Would you save it if there was only... I believe he got down to 10. If there were only 10 doing it the right way, God said, I would. It never got low enough for God to say, I won't do it. But Abraham gave up because he knew there wouldn't, there wouldn't even 10, 10 there. But his brother was down there. And it was time to get out of there because God was going to burn it down. I'm telling you, there is no, listen to me, there's no hope 
for the United States and fixing obesity. There's no hope except for Jesus Christ. There's no other hope. He's the only way. He is the right way. Discipline, moderation, contentment, satisfaction, being uh, appreciative of our wages. I don't care if my friend Cindy's over there eating a double fudge overboard. I'm very contented with my little double chocolate Mighty Muffin with a little Briar's Carb Smart. I'm contented. So it, there's no hope. The obesity epidemic is rising. So the only way for you to fix it for you and your family, your circle of influence, is to do what Lot had to do. <clears throat> listen, listen to old bald headed Billy Bob. The only hope for you is to come up out of there. Tell me I'm a lie. You're surrounded by it. Probably within a five mile radius, you've got 50 fast food restaurants. Come up out of there. And then God is saying, adopt a new lifestyle and don't look back. What happened when Lot's wife had FOMO? Turned into salt. Turned into salt. Turned into a pillar of salt. Frozen. Couldn't move forward. Couldn't go backwards. That's called Luke 1, beloved. That's why we have a program called Perfect or Holiday. And I'm going to tell you something right now. I love this program, and this is saying a lot, more than I did 20 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, two years ago, I was saying, I'm burned out, Lord. Would you restore my joy? And he has used pain to restore my joy. But I love this program. Come alongside of me and fight for it and help people come up out of Sodom and Gomorrah they give them, they're bound down. They're bound down to the Big Mac. Bound down to stupid chicken nuggets. Can you believe that? When we got such a good way, we are on a journey headed toward a land flowing with Kroger Carmaster milk and organic local honey. So come on. It's a good place. It's a good way. And people will see you and see your enjoyment and then your journey gets easier because they'll gather around you and they'll do it with you. You know good and well when you've got more people. I can go to the grocery store and if I see a buggy full of Chabot for proof stuff and I don't even know the person, I say, hello there. By any chance, are you doing a program called Chabot? And they'll go, yep, we got a language. We got a language. We got this. Any questions for me before we go to the members only group? I ran over by two minutes. So any questions? All right. So let's leave our troubles today. I know we many of us have troubles. Don't think about it. The, the enemy's using that against you. It's always been all right. It's going to be all right. So let your troubles go today. They'll still be there tomorrow. But just get it off your mind. Let it go. Shake it out. Don't listen to the enemy. God's got you. He's not going to forsake you. He's not going to leave you, whatever you got going on. Everybody good? <laughs> you mean we can't adult nap you and keep you in our pockets to fix things? I would actually love that. I'd love to walk around with people and smack stuff out of their hand. <laughs> I would love it. Wish it worked that way. Anybody got anything? All right, I'm going to close this out in prayer and go jump in the journey session. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. Forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from that evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right. Thank y'all so much. See some of you over there. Good to have Deanna back.